Welcome to this Big Fix video, part of the series on installing Big Fix on a Windows Server. My name is Ben Dixon and I'm a Big Fix Technical Advisor with HCL. In this video, we are going to walk through the Big Fix installation generator using an existing masthead to create the Big Fix installation media. There are three methods to run the Big Fix installation generator. In this video, we will be using the existing masthead file to create our installation media. The masthead file is almost always obtained from a previous installation of Big Fix. The file has an extension of AFXM. You'll use this method if you need to rerun the installation generator to recreate the installation media or to reinstall your Big Fix server using an existing serial number. Remember that you will not get prompted for things like server name and signing key password during this option. So make sure you plan to install Big Fix using the same DNS name and that you still have the site signing key and the password. For this video, we have already downloaded the installation generator from software.bigfix.com and started the install. We selected the language at the language screen and the installation generator has started the wizard. At the welcome screen, we'll click next. We'll select the production radio button and click next. We'll accept the software license agreement and click next. We are recreating the installation media using an existing masthead. So we select the bottom radio button install with an existing masthead and click next. We're prompted for the location of our masthead file so we browse to the masthead and click open. We are then prompted for the folder where the Big Fix installation components will be created. We will accept the default on this screen and click next. The wizard creates the installation components, the server install, the console install, the web UI install, and the endpoint agent install. When the wizard completes, Click Finish. We are now ready to install our Big Fix environment using our new installation media. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this information useful. You can find other useful information by using these links, including documentation, videos, and support.